Hey everybody, uh, just put here. Just want to give a quick kind of update, a little vlog of the studio upgrade. Uh, I was going to keep y'all up to date on that, and uh, people seem very interested in what's going on. And so this is uh, after the first week. Uh, we started this about a week ago. Uh, this room was nothing but a bunch of junk, a bed. Uh, it was basically our throwaway room. Everything went in it, but it's also where I worked out of and did, you know, the content creation and live streaming and playing my games and that sort of thing. And also teleworking during the week. So anyway, my wife came up with the idea that, you know, she thought it would be good to redo this and just, you know, scrap it as a spare bedroom and actually turn it into something, something really functional for both of us. And so I was like, yeah, it's a great idea. Let's go ahead and do it. I, I've been kind of wanting to do that anyway, especially because I want to kind of do some different types of content in addition to what I normally do and, you know, and just kind of change up the way I'm doing some of the videos. That's what we've started to do. So the grand plan is to, let's see, right here, you can see the cabinets uh sitting in the corners there and those are going to be part of a, a cabinet system that we're going to have for storage various things for my wife's crafts uh you know that she can use uh she's also going to have kind of in the middle of the room right here where you can see this table with a bunch of junk laying on right now she's going to have a sit stand desk the same model same color that i have currently and that's going to be her main work table that she'll be able to do her crafting and stuff and her big idea is that she wants to do a, a youtube channel and an etsy store create crafts and these packs that you can buy then she's going to video how you use the packs to make the craft and then you can then purchase that craft pack and then you can make it yourself uh, which seems to be a very popular uh, niche on youtube right now so that's uh, kind of the plan with this. We're going to kind of turn it into a full-fledged studio, though, because I'm going to be doing the filming of her craft. So it's going to include some overhead lighting, some acoustic treatment, things like that. Uh, you know, I'm going to treat these walls with acoustic panels um, and, acu and diffusers so that we can uh, kind of, you can hear kind of the echo in the room right now as I'm just using the raw mic off of my phone. Uh, but you know, there is some treatment that needs to be done in here. And so we're gonna make some acoustic panels. That'll be a DIY project. Uh, we're going to, of course, we've already painted the walls this gray. It's an 18% gray, or what everybody recommends is 18% gray from Sherman Williams. And then we've, of course, Ikea'd the whole room. We've basically spent uh, probably quite close to $6,000 in Ikea furniture uh, to you know, finish this room out and to gear it out for our storage solutions and our workspaces. I'm really looking forward to it. Some of the things that we've gotten done so far, we've gotten these Calix units put together. This is the Sextion, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, S-C-X-T-I-O-N. Uh, these, these are the cat base cabinets that we've decided to go with. We've got the two corners put together. Uh, we're just waiting on getting the rest of the base cabinets, which will be here on the 22nd. Uh, so then we can go ahead and what I'm thinking we're gonna do, once they get here, then go ahead and mount the rails so that we can then mount them on the wall and that sort of thing and get the base cabinet set. I was also thinking, and if you have uh, experience with IKEA base cabinets yourself, you've already installed them, let me know in the comments. But I was thinking because we already have the drawing and we know what the length of the cabinets are gonna be overall, we go ahead and mount the rails and we can go ahead and get the corner cabinets mounted and that'll be out of the way so that when the rest of the base cabinets are here we can just slide them on the rails and then adjust them as necessary and then we can go ahead and mount the countertops which we've also got right here so we have those uh, we got the countertop for my desk i have the option to go ahead and hard mount this to these alex drawers which I really like, and a lot of people, obviously this is a popular thing that a lot of YouTubers are using uh, and for various things. I've seen it for gaming solutions, for beauty solutions, all kinds of stuff. But I'm thinking what I wanna do is I want to put casters on the bottom of the Alex units and I can be able to roll this thing in and out and I can do shots from you know one side of the desk or I can do shots from the other side of the desk and have the wall directly behind me uh, for different things but I don't think that that would be feasible if I don't hard mount the countertop. 
Problem was the countertop that we wanted really wasn't available and it's not gonna be available for a long time. Matter of fact, they told us they don't they only know when they'll have another one that we wanted. We were looking at getting uh, that was more kind of butcher block look and it's a little darker. Um, this one is a bamboo kind of look. The problem is when we bought it, they didn't have a uh, floor sample that we could look at. And they said the only way you're gonna be able to do it is when you, you see it yourself is when you open it up. So we got home, we opened it up. And on the bottom, they have pre-mounted, pre-drilled holes. Uh, it looks like it's for a, a, a regular table. It comes with its own legs and stuff like that. So um, we're trying to, I'm going to kind of figure out what I can do with that. Uh, so I'm kind of up in the air. I may just leave it as is and do as like most of the other people I've you know, found on YouTube. They're just putting the, the little non-slip um, uh, sticky things on top of the Alex drawers and just letting the uh, tabletop stay as free floating. You know, so we'll see, that's an option. It wasn't terribly expensive. And if I guess down the road, if I decide if we can find another countertop or tabletop that we like that is more functional, I can then hard mount it and then do the casters as necessary. Uh, so we've taken this, we've got this one by four calyx that's going to be below the window right here. And what we've done is I don't know if you see, yeah, you can. So we've put legs on that. Um, and to kind of make it a little bit more stylish than just some boxes laying on the floor. And what we've done, and you can kind of see the, kind of the uh, inspiration for the colors of our room, but these are a couple of items my wife has bought to decorate her side of the room with, uh, cause she is definitely the crafter. And you can see some of these things that's gonna sit, uh, you know, for decoration, but we've gotten these curtains. <laughs> Now these we just found like maybe four or five days ago and they are room darkening and acoustic dampening uh, curtains that just so happened to be in the colors that my wife wanted to do for the room. Now, you know, they're kind of loud and I'm not gonna lie. They're not necessarily what I would put in, put in here, but she really liked them and they perform the, the functions that I need for room darkening curtains and for acoustic treatment. So. I was like, okay, sure, go ahead, you know, whatever. Um, she has a decorator's mind, and I think that in the end, it'll probably look and be looking pretty good in here. You know, we also have this calyx unit here, and what I've done is I've gotten four storage drawers across the bottom. That's gonna help because I'm limited with the cables and power cables and that sort of thing. So this is gonna be something that's gonna kind of hide those cables a little bit. Uh, this isn't finished, of course, as you can see, I have some legs right there. I really like the leg idea that we did on the one by four over by the window. Something that we're gonna do uh, on this unit too. So I gotta pull it all out. And then eventually the router, the switch and everything will go in one of the cubbies. Uh, and I'm still thinking about maybe mounting the switch over here underneath the desk because that's really where everything is hooked up. Uh, just to minimize uh, some of the cables that are going to be, you know, running around. And uh, so anyway, uh, I've tried my best to try to clean it up. Uh, but anyway, so that is definitely something that I'm going to have to figure out a, a, a nicer way, maybe, maybe even pulling carpet um, and running underneath the carpet. Uh, to try to keep it from being such an eyesore. But anyway, currently that's kind of where we're at though. Um, like I said, the bulk of the uh, other uh, pieces that we'll get will be here on the 22nd. And I think then for the most part, we'll be done as far as the main structural stuff with all the cabinets and storage. But uh, then, I mean, it's moving on to lighting and that sort of thing. We have uh, new LED lighting coming in that we're going to do. I do plan on having um, Alexa controlled lighting. I do plan on having some RGB. Uh, we also do plan on a 55 inch LC dirt, wow, whatever TV, we're gonna get a TV anyway, 55 inch is what we were looking at um, to mount on one of the walls here. Anyway, uh, that is a quick vlog update. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. If you did, make sure you hit the like. Um, stay tuned because of more's coming. And then I will finally, once we get everything finally done and in place and cleaned up, then I will do a full uh, studio tour and kind of just show you what we want to do moving forward for 2021. All right, guys, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Have a great, safe week, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.